if you see invertebrates heart and uh, vertebrate hearts in case of the chordates there are generally two or three or four chambered hearts and if and when hearts are present in chordates generally the heart is located on the ventral side whereas invertebrate hearts the hearts are generally or on it is on the dorsal side now if you see cyclostomes and fishes cyclostomes and fishes you will see two chambered heart it is two chambered heart cyclostomata cyclo round stoma mouth agnathus vertebrates agnathus jawless vertebrates with round mouth petromyzon mixing and all fishes we have got only two chambered heart and it includes one atrium and one ventricle now if i take the fish the heart is located very close to the gills the location of the heart is here there is one atrium one ventricle and the heart is receiving deoxygenated blood from tissues from tissues deoxygenated blood is coming to heart heart will pump that deoxygenated blood to gills and the gills here exchange of gases occur here exchange of gases occur these are gills here exchange of gases and oxygenated blood is pumped to all parts of the body so you can see in a single circuit the blood is flowing through the body only once that's why it is called a single circulation it is called single circulation one circuit it will pass through heart once and two chambered heart present the heart is called is brachial heart the heart is called as venous heart it is called venous heart venous blood it is pumping always it is pumping deoxygenated blood that's why it's called venous blood venous heart brachial heart brachial means gills so it's always pumping blood towards the gills of course after oxygenation the blood is pumped to other parts of the body and associated with the atrium you can see that sinus venosus sinus venosus you can see the blood vessels blood is collected by heart by veins all the veins come and open into a sac like chamber the sac like chamber is called as sinus venosus venosus means vein only sinus means it is an empty space so sinus venosus is associated with the atrium and then enters into ventricles and then enters into ventral blood vessel the sinus venosus itself is the pacemaker in case of this animal the sinus venosus itself is the pacemaker so that's the condition in cyclostomes and fishes in cyclostomes and fishes there is two chambered heart is present one atrium one ventricle and there is single circulation the blood passes through heart once in a single circuit the the heart is pumping blood to gills so called brachial heart the blood is pumped the the heart is pumping always deoxygenated blood only that's why it's called as venous heart and the pacemaker is sinus venosus and the number of aortic arches number of aortic arches see this is the dorsal blood vessel when i take cross section of this animal this is the dorsal blood vessel this is the ventral blood vessel this ventral blood vessel is here this dorsal blood vessel is there and connections between these two there is connections like that so there are connections like that so these are called aortic arches they called aortic arches aorta means major artery arches means it is arch like so the number of aortic arches in case of fishes will be as many pairs of gills so many pairs of aortic arches for example bony fishes there are four pairs of gills 
the number of aortic arches also will be four pairs. But in cartilage and species, there are five pairs, say, the number of aortic arches also will be five pairs. So that is the condition in that first group. When you come to amphibia, in amphibia, three chambered heart is present. So when I take that three chambered heart, there are two atria and one ventricle. There is left atrium, the right atrium, and a single ventricle is present. Now, in any animal, on the left side it is oxygenated blood, in the right side it is deoxygenated blood. So both the bloods are coming and it is mixed in the ventricle. So ventricle pumps that blood outside. So it is the mixed blood which is pumped outside. And of course there are lungs. The blood is pumped to lungs and it is coming back. But the lungs are not the major respiratory organs. The major respiratory organ is the skin. Now, to pump the blood outside, you can see a truncus arteriosus. Originating from the ventricle, originating from the ventricle, there is a large artery the artery is called as truncus arteriosus. Trunk, like the tree, it is like a trunk of the tree. And it is the major artery. So this will carry that blood. So it will go outside, it divides into two branches and then again divides into three branches. These branches, these branches includes the carotid arch, the systemic arch and the pulmocutaneous arch. Same, same this side, right side also, carotid arch, systemic arch, pulmocutaneous arch. So we have three pairs of aortic arches. Aortic arches, three pairs in case of amphibia. And you can see the blood is pumped to the heart, but by the heart to lungs, and it is again coming to the heart, and the heart is pumping that to all parts of the body. But the blood is mixed inside the ventricles. That's why we use the word incomplete double circulation. In case of human being, we use the term complete double circulation. Blood is passing through heart twice. Here also it's passing through heart twice, but it is incomplete because the blood is mixed in the ventricles and associated with the right atrium. As usual, there is sinus venosus. Behind the right atrium, there is sinus venosus. So that is the condition of amphibian heart. So amphibian heart is three-chambered heart, and it is having two atria and one ventricles. Associated with heart, as usual, there is sinus venosus on the dorsal side. It is the pacemaker. And on the ventral side, there is truncus arteriosus, which is originating from the ventricle and it is having three pairs of aortic arches. The three pairs includes one pair of carotid arch, one pair of systemic arch, and one pair of pulmocutaneous arches. The type of circulation is incomplete double circulation.